So many things go into a do-it-yourself dog sheep hunt, especially when you have your own airplane to deal with. I feel good. The hours that it takes just to make sure that it's running cleanly when your life really depends on it means everything. You got your annual checkups, you got your oil changes, and you have endless fuel to dump in these machines in the sky. That's what Brian does. Brian does best. This is his Northern Explorer. He put this plane in the broccoli uh, the year previous. We spent the entire winter piecing this beautiful plane back together with one goal in mind, and that was doll sheep. A lot of people don't know just what it takes to be successful in an airplane. They see all the successful photos on Instagram and social media, uh, but they have no clue the unseen hours that are put into these birds. Me, on the other hand, I'm uh, sitting here with my wife and our yet-to-be-born son, Keeper. And we're doing yard chores. Yeah, that's right. Just doing yard chores. It may seem like a simple task making Mama happy, but if Mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. So, slice and dice a few pieces of wood, clean up the yard, I get to go sheep hunting. You know who's fired up. My son was born July 21st, 2018. It just so happened that it coincided with the Alaska hunting season and my wife's maternity leave. So Brian and I are headed out uh, under the graces of my lovely wife and we're going after sheep. She said, bring home a sheep. We need some meat for the freezer. So daddy's on a mission to fill that freezer, make a little less wall space, and spend some quality time with my friend Brian Turner in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. So here's what's going through my mind. Usually I'll go with an outfitter or a transporter to drop me in the field because we don't got to be guided. It's a completely different deal being with a private pilot in Alaska who owns their airplane. They can touch that bad boy down wherever they want to. So Brian knows some really good spots. I had done a previous hunt with him. Uh, the year before on a solo hunt and uh, he dropped me off and I went and scored a beautiful sheep and he said next year we're doing it together and I said absolutely and quite honestly I'm just very excited to be there with a new happy healthy newborn son at home and a wife who loves me taking maternity leave and allowing me to do what I love spending time in the mountains and bringing home meat for my family to enjoy all right, we got T minus two days until sheep season begins. What Brian is really trying to say is that we got three rams over here, one ram right here, two rams over there, this one right here looks legal. Let's go. Big ram. Scouting and we got a couple rams in mind. Hopefully we can make one of them work out.
right there. I'm just trying to decide if we're gonna shoot him or not. Shoot him. Where is he? Yeah. Ended up down there, so. I think the sheep died right there, right in that crack. Now let's check it. Seven, eight, nine. Is he ten? I think he's ten years old. Dude, <laughs> you got him. Got him. <laughs> Big. We did it. Oh, all right. I know we were joking about like a six to twelve. A lot of mass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Knew that it was eight years old and double broomed, at least giving a ring or two extra. Right. Yep. And the um, land tips were gone. It's always been a dream, right? Brought down. Yeah, I've always wanted a, a broomer. We've always talked about getting a broom. Get the broom ram. And you, I know, look at that. Oh, look how <laughs> cool it is. Like how... It's like broom down to its second year. Wow. Did it, man. We did it. <laughs> Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay, 
and you hit him. I am so jacked right now. Oh my god. Got a hell of a stock. Wow, beautiful sheep. Oh yeah, he's been fighting. Mean old ram. I, I gotta say, I really, truly, every piece of me, I really appreciate it. And thank you very much, man. Like, yeah. sincerely, thank you. Awesome ram. Yeah. I'm, I can't wait to eat some backstrap tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Made the shot, man. Made the shot when it counts. As soon as the fog rolled in, we marched up as high as we could, as quick as we could. And once we knew we were within 800 yards or, or so, we took it easy and quiet. What's this one's dead? It's another 364 more days. Today is the 11th. You get to go back home, you get to go back home to your wife and your new baby. That's right. Baby boy. That's right. Keeper. Got to go back, Kiki. He's with me. I am. Um, got a little. That was a little baby uh, pacifier, pacifier yeah. huh? You know, I gotta say, this is a big reminder for me. Was to, I just had my, my first baby. I wouldn't be able to do it without my wife. You know, I would not be able to do this. This made me remind myself of Keeper, which you just had, and my lovely wife, Jordan, thank you. Family, thank you, but especially my wife, Jordan, thank you, babe, for taking care of Keeper, giving us a beautiful baby boy, and let me come out and live my dreams. So, I promise I'll be good for another 364 days. <laughs> The unseen hours to me are what makes the adventure so special. The time spent before and after the hunt makes the journey that much sweeter. Whatever your passion may be, like me being a good husband and a great father, or like Brian, a gifted pilot dedicated to his craft, these are the moments we live for, and these are the unseen hours.